Small businesses fail at a rate of 80% within the first 18 months. Those who survive will still face their own unique set of challenges. Retail is holding us back. It's time for this brand to move forward. The sunglass market is oversaturated, and Canaan Polarized is looking to make their mark. Canaan is the best sunglass brand you've never heard of. Will this inventive sunglass manufacturer brand themselves a leader among giants? We don't do gimmicks. We're, yeah. we're, we're the real deal. To help see the future more clearly, we've teamed Canaan with corporate titan Jay Margolis. We would just sell best. You're not telling me that your men's business is so good here. Can this merchandising and retail mastermind, responsible for the profit turnaround of limited brands, take their business to the next level? Are you, are you happy with the way it's turned out? So yeah. what do you think? This is Bloomberg, the mentor. My name is Steve Rosenberg, and I'm the uh, CEO and co-founder of Canon Polarized. I am Darren Rosenberg. I am a COO and co-founder of Canon Polarized. Canon is the best sunglass brand you've never heard of. We've been in this location for about three or four years. It's a nice little spot here in Newport Beach. We used to be located just one building over. As we outgrew that and this building, it's a very inviting space and really much better for us. And we're only a couple hundred yards away from the beach. It's really a great spot. Well, I have a background in, in optics. I was an athlete before I got involved in, in a business life, which was working for a competitor of ours currently. And at some point, I recognized that there was a real need for superior polarization in the marketplace. For me, it was law school. Got my degree, went off, practiced law for almost seven years. But while I was doing that, Steve was having a lot of fun at a sunglass brand and showing me that you didn't have to wear a suit every day and, and stress about all those things that, uh, that I was stressing about, like billable hours and creating mountains of paper. And as brothers, sitting around the dinner table talking about what our next moves would be, this idea was the most fun and most exciting sounding. So we decided the timing was right for both of us to embark on that pursuit. Cane and Polarized is a progressive premium brand of sunglasses. Very high quality, lifestyle orientated. We lead with our lens. Our lens is by far the best uh, lens technology on the planet. We, we really make a great product for people that want to enjoy the outdoors and enjoy their lifestyle. Uh, what I'm thinking on this layout here is if we highlight the product up close, up okay. at the top, make that be the hero. Nice shadowing that you did right there, too. Like Ten years ago, we were the first brand to introduce our SR91 lens technology, which gives us the quality of glass, the impact resistance of polycarbonate. It's lightweight, guaranteed never to crack or split. The void we identified in the marketplace was a frame that was great for athletes matched with a superior polarized lens. The lens technology definitely defines the brand. Extreme performance with great looking style for both men and women. It seems very easy, simplistic. It really wasn't out there. Right now, we're preparing for our Las Vegas trade show. A successful trade show for us is a great opportunity to develop a new relationship, educate new people about our product, and excite them about what makes Cane and Polarize special. We believe at this point in our business, retail is holding us back. Our, our ability to get distribution at a broader scale is holding us back. It's time for this brand to move forward. We need to grow our distribution, and our market awareness needs to grow. And those are two challenging entities in today's economic climate. We're running a business. I'm looking for any advantage that we can get. I look forward to the opportunity and see what we can uh, you know, take away from this. Jay Margolis is a merchandising and retail mastermind. I've always thought of business as a sport. So the sport of business is putting your team together, putting your product together, and winning means that consumers are buying your product. He served as president of E. Saint Laurent, Liz Claiborne, Tommy Hilfiger, and Limited Brands. In 2007, Jay is credited with taking limited brands from a loss of 100 million to a profit of over 130 million. As an independent investor, Jay currently serves as a director for Burlington Coat Factory, Built New York, Boston Beer Company, and Godiva Chocolates. To date, he has propelled many of the companies he's run from a net worth of millions to billions. I love discussing brands. I love talking about who their consumer is and seeing what the niche and void they fill is that can get them to a bigger and more profitable place. I'm so thrilled to be here. To have him come in and take a look at our brand and offer some suggestions, he's not just some guy off the street. It helps 
First stop, obviously the lobby. We created a bit of a boutique so we can highlight our products and displays. You know, in the last couple of years, we've really made a commitment to focus on our merchandising. And we're speaking a lot with our team and our designers to keep our brand fresh. How do we merchandise? How do we draw attention to the product and tell our story? This is the warehouse, um, obviously our pick, pick and ship uh, area. And this is the product that actually ships to retail. I love the packaging. I love the presentation. I think it just feels so strong and powerful. Where would this sell best? Would it be better in a Neiman Marcus, in a better specialty store? You'll find that product being sold in resorts at the surf level, the snow level. We rely upon word of mouth. You know, he tells one friend, he tells one friend. Yeah. But we also want to be a diversified brand. Certain channels had really struggled. You know, the surf channel, golf, or optical channel really was strong. Now we're seeing the specialty channels coming back up while optical is still performing for us at a reasonable level. Is there a, you know, a technical slash fashion move? Yeah. Because I think you're better than what I've seen from the competition when as I was looking yeah. around in this category. I don't know how big the category is, but I think this is kind of great. I enjoy the fact that he is an active outdoor person himself which fits into our story as Canaan and an active lifestyle brand. The product uh, that we create is created for people like him. I mean, the lenses are amazing. Yeah. The quality is built into it. We start with the lens, we lead with the lens, and we're bringing fashion into the performance category. And I think we've been pioneering that the last 10 years and crossing that line between fashion and sport. It doesn't need to be blurred anymore. It, it is just one big I category. Agree. I agree. Keep reinforcing the SR91. I know you are, wherever you can. But every time I see it, I keep thinking that that's the special sauce yeah, to some degree. Right. What, why I keep going at this is I think you've polarized has been more of what you've been pushing for a long time versus the SR91. Yeah. Do you see that changing, or do you, 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 you still believe in the, in the word polarized? We need people to understand that we are committed to all polarized product. But I think it's the end. So it's polarized and. A lot of people have polarized, yeah. but, but very few have what you have. So I'm just saying, how do we differentiate that? I think could be something to that's think right. about. You're, you guys are pretty close to it. You've been doing this for a long that's time. That's right. And I think that's why you bring such, you know, you great, bring a great pair of eyes to us today. They're at a funny place in that they, with the right investments, with the right product, and with the right growth and right consumer acceptance, I believe that Canaan could grow dramatically. Having said that, they also need the marketing to get to these consumers. So they're in a funny place. They keep falling back to technology. What I've learned is the challenge needs to be how they, how they get the message out. Hey, could we maybe go to a retail store and see how you look at point of sale? Absolutely. Is that possible? Yeah, let's do it. Coming up, technology takes a back seat. You need to draw that consumer in, That's right. and you need to then convert that consumer. It's in every business that I know of. But Steve and Darren see things a different way. We don't do gimmicks. We're, nah. we're the real deal. We kind of say tricks are for kids. Can mentor Jay Margolis reboot Kanan's approach? Wow is not tacky. Wow is good. Bloomberg The Mentor is brought to you by Inc., the small business card from Chase. Introducing Jot, a free app to organize your business expenses on the go. Start saving time at chase.com slash Inc. No matter what small business you're in, managing expenses seems to get in the way. Not anymore. Inc., the small business card from Chase, introduces John, an on-the-go expense app made exclusively for Inc. customers. Custom categorize your expenses anywhere. Save time and get back to what you love. The latest innovation only for Inc. customers. Learn more at chase.com slash Inc. A new Bloomberg.com keeps you on top of it fast with easy to access news with top headlines and a 24-hour view of the markets. Sharp insights from the world's thought leaders. A view of global indexes and asset classes. And live streaming TV and radio shows at Bloomberg.com. Darren and Steve of Canaan Polarized lead with their lenses. Crossing that line between fashion and sport it doesn't need to be blurred anymore. It, it is just one big category. Keep reinforcing the SR91. That, that's the special sauce yeah, to some degree. Right. But mentor Jay Margolis may have a different look on their business. What I've learned is the challenge needs to be how they, how they get the message out. This is where the rubber meets the road, right? This is where That's the it. consumer kind of sees it. How do you, in an overwhelming 
kind of environment like this, how do I get someone to come over and... Well, and so much of it we refer to as, you know, how do we filter the noise? And, and I guess that goes back to what we've been talking about a, a lot today, is how do you separate yourself? You need to draw that consumer in, That's right. and you need to then convert that consumer. It's in every business that I know of. Let, let me ask you a question about the show, the Sunglass Show. How do you present product there? Is it a place where you can try some different things to get different response from retailers? Absolutely. Was there anything a giant lens or something that you've thought of that could yeah. gain some... We don't do gimmicks. We're, yeah. we're, we're the real deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we kind of say tricks are for kids. When we have this claim of an SR91 polarized lens that is a new patented lens, we want people to take us seriously. Steve is a little bit uh, sensitive to the brand and what brand boundaries are, and I think wow is good. Wow is not bad. Wow is not tacky. Wow is like getting people excited. I still don't know if, if SR91 and what it is and what it represents. I don't know if that story still comes through here. Godiva, we did chocolate dipped Oreos. Oreo was more than happy to do it with us. We dipped them in Godiva chocolate. The store people got excited. We sold $5 million worth of chocolate dipped Oreos. And you start saying to yourself, but it became the come on, right? So there was something that got them unique that was a little different. It wasn't just another truffle. I kind of think the same thing is true here. They've got to pound that technology. We own SR91. What is it? How do I, why, why should every retailer in that, in, in that, at that show be shopping their line? I think a, a show is a great place to really, you know, present that, to really show what you can look like and, you know, how you can make meaningful presentations. When you're in the store, I think we wanted to be able to have an environment that we're inviting and the, something that might catch your eye. Do you think you're accomplishing that, I guess, is the question. I think overall, we look good. It's definitely a female fashion focus mm -hmm. there. I kind of keep thinking as, as a male consumer, I'd want to see sunglasses for me, separate from sunglasses for my mm -hmm. wife, daughter, etc. Does that make any sense to you in terms of presentation? Because this is all kind of mixed together, right? In this particular location, the owners tell us that we're the number one selling women's sunglass in their store. You're not telling me the, that your men's business is so, is so good here. It's, oh, I'm just uh, I'm just calling out really more of a fact that our, our women's business is st very strong here. In my past life, building whether it be Tommy or Liz and shops, when I got information like you just had, oh my God, that was heaven because I would be going in and pitching the store on making this a full women's display. If I can get eight out of ten women coming into this store, coming over to Canaan, and going, oh my God, that's unbelievable. My bet is your business even goes up further. Mm -hmm that you actually get even a better response. Right, absolutely. <laughs> That's the key. One of the interesting points that we discussed was about brand segmentation and product segmentation. So when we went to Sunglass Plus, the retail store, and saw our display and the merchandising, and then found out that the women's styles in our product are some of their top-selling women's styles, it keyed in for all of us that we need to do a better job of segmenting and messaging to our consumers that Canon does women's product very well and in a unique way kind of a, an, a good challenge to yeah. figure out how can you get that extra fixture, how can you distort it. Can we get back to your office and look at Kane and stuff? Let's go. That's We're following you. <laughs> I think uh, the legitimacy of the brand is, is stronger than some might think, but the opportunity, while large, is not necessarily being absorbed at the level that we would like right now. And, and I think it's that market awareness distribution opportunity um, other than that, I think it's a matter of, you know, your perceptions and, and what you saw. I think your booth and setting up what you do with your, your sales distribution and even, again, getting that message out in a big way, what can you do at the booth for wow effect? I don't want to ever go anywhere to tacky or to over the top, but something that really talks about why our technology is better. I want to keep pounding it home to retailers. I would hope that you have a vision that says Canaan could be such great technology with the right aesthetic. And I think that there's not a lot of great technical brands out there. Mm -hmm. I think you happen to be one in a category that has the ability to move into a lot of other things. At the same time, I would challenge you that distortion, getting that product in a more meaningful way, especially where you're doing well, go even the next level. We could have a women's presentation. We could have a men's presentation. We could kind of differentiate our product in different ways, take it to the next level. You look at the profitability of a Nike, of a Ralph Lauren, of brands, Apple, and look at what they've done. They've created 
tribes. They've created niches, and because of them doing that in a wonderful, consistent way and always living to the brand mission, um, they make money and they grow and they take market share. I had a lot of fun. I really enjoyed myself. I learned so much. Let's, um, let's keep talking to each other. Absolutely. Great day. Terrific. Thank you very much for coming, Jay. It's a pleasure getting to know you. Now it's up to us to seize the opportunity and drive the points home and, and get everyone else's creative juices flowing towards not only the creation of ideas, but execution. Coming up, Darren and Steve have a clear vision on Canaan's future. Vegas is perfect timing from a market testing standpoint. Will mentor Jay Margolis see it too? Is this what you're going to be showing in Las Vegas? Are you, are you happy with the way it's turned out? Customers making their mark. Brought to you by Inc., the small business card from Chase. Make your mark with Inc. Big Fish Wines is a boutique California winery that produces premium small lot wines. We started in 2005 as a hobby and then turned it into a business in 2008. Our first vintage was our, our Syrah, and on the label is a Blue Marlin that we caught off the coast of Hawaii. I wanted labels to be very personal. I think it weighed about 400 pounds, maybe a little less, but that's how big fish stories work. A lot of our key challenges are based on the fact that we're a small brand in a very large and competitive, challenging market. Going into winemaking, thinking that if you just make a great wine, they will come, and that's not been the case. What we needed to do was create more of an experience. I'm making my mark by doing events where you're actually meeting the person who created the wine, hearing the story behind how our wines were made and how we came up with our name, doing it in an atmosphere that they remember. Brought to you by Inc., the small business card from Chase. Make your mark with Inc. Go to chase.com slash Inc. Deep inside the Bloomberg building, there's a table that has supported the elbows and ideas of heads of state business leaders, scientists, Academy Award winners, authors. They come to speak their minds, not their sound bites. They come for the most fascinating conversations they'll ever have. Welcome, and you have a seat. Sit down at the most fascinating table in the world. Darren and Steve of Canaan Polarized are looking to be leaders in the sunglass world. Canaan is the best sunglass brand you've never heard of. Armed with mentor Jay Margolis's advice. We could have a women's presentation, we could have a men's presentation, we could differentiate our product in different ways. Take it to the next level. Will their brand stand out from the rest? After talking with Jay, we really keyed in on the women's collection and we decided to make a new display specifically for the women's collection. The final product is uh, something we'll see at Sunglass Plus today. It's a white display with a new Canaan logo that we're playing around with highlighting just the women's collection. New logo, new case, focus on the women. We're gonna pick up a Skype video call with Jay and we're excited to show him what this new display looks like. Hey Jay, how you doing? Uh, hi guys, how are you? Doing great, doing we're great. Good. Glad you can join us here. Love to show you some of the new concepts that we came up with since our last visit. Well, here we are at Sunglass Plus, uh, the retail store. Can you see the display? I can see it great. Is this what you're going to be showing in Las Vegas? Yes. We think we've got time. This is an industry-only show. So we're going to go ahead and test market this in, in Vegas, see what the reaction is, see if this is launchable in the spring. Steve, the fixtures look great. I thought the presentation really popped. Are you, are you happy with the way it's turned out? I'm very pleased with the first step in this direction. Well, I think we've got a few tweaks to still make. I think we need to still call out women a little bit. I think we need to be a little more direct. I'm, I'm very excited because each of the fixtures looks very unique and very special and I think showcases Canaan in a wonderful way. And I think they are slightly different, obviously, from a fashion point of view, women's and men's. I think the more you can think about that and plan to each and every store you do business with, I think you're going to have great success with that. Um, I'm hoping that they respond in a, in a real positive way to give you more space. And that's exactly how we want to try to use this is to extend our shelf space in our retail stores that are doing well with the brand. I think as a brand, we've never gone wrong when we've just said exactly what it is we're, we're doing. One of the other things that, that struck me, I went to a, a conference, and one of the big conversations was obviously inventory flow and, and showing newness and creating newness and creating excitement for the consumer. I think fixtures like that, telling a clear story and giving a clear message, I think it can only help the brand. I don't know how you feel about that. 
I would agree with you completely. Yeah. We got to call out women's even more directly. Uh, so we've obviously got a women's font. The imagery is all women. But I, I think we can do a, even a little bit more. Uh, but it's nice to hear the comments that you just shared, because I think that's what we're thinking as well. I think you'll have great results at Vegas, and I think it's, uh, it's one step forward, right? Well, thanks, cool. Jay. Very thanks, kind Jay. of you. I liked that Jay's uh, reaction was positive. I liked that Jay was uh, seeing an opportunity for us to explore this further at the trade show and, and discuss it with the retailers to see who could expand this opportunity with us. I think Vegas is perfect timing from a market testing standpoint. And I want to get the feedback from the wholesale part of the industry that's going to be at that show, not necessarily by asking them the question, but really by their reaction. Coming up. The Vegas Sunglass Show has started. This is where all the brands come and display their wares, and retailers come and do their buying. Will Canaan's changes win retailers over? So what do you think? Bloomberg The Mentor is brought to you by Inc., the small business card from Chase. Introducing Jot, a free app to organize your business expenses on the go. Start saving time at chase.com slash inc. No matter what small business you're in, managing expenses seems to get in the way. Not anymore. Inc., a small business card from Chase, introduces John, an on-the-go expense app made exclusively for Inc. customers. Custom categorize your expenses anywhere. Save time and get back to what you love. The latest innovation only for Inc. customers. Learn more at chase.com slash Inc. Inc. customers making their mark. Brought to you by Inc., the small business card from Chase. Make your mark with Inc. I was a CEO of a huge company, and I gave up that lifestyle to open a business. I had a climbing accident. It took me six months to recover. I had to decide what you want to do with your life. And one day, I was running from spin studio to a yoga studio, and I went, why don't you combine yoga with spinning? It was a very entrepreneurial moment. I had to come up with my own style of yoga. My tagline, no chanting, no granola, no Sanskrit. The clientele loved it. I started to focus on ways to grow my brand. I did a clothing line, a DVD. What makes your mark? You have to be different. You have to figure out what that is. People have asked me, why don't you do Pilates? Why don't you do, it's like, no, this is what we do. We do it really well. But this is what we do. Brought to you by Inc., the small business card from Chase. Make your mark with Inc. Go to chase.com slash Inc. Think our CEO's tips can help you in your small business? Did he spark an idea? Log on to Bloomberg.com slash The Mentor or to Facebook.com slash Bloomberg Television for exclusive extras, including candid interviews with the CEOs. Log on now and join the conversation that could help take your small business to the next level. It's go time for Canaan Polarized. I think you'll have great results in Vegas. And I think it's, uh, it's one step forward. Looking to make a huge impression in the industry, Darren and Steve hope Vegas validates their changes. Vegas is perfect timing from a market testing standpoint. And I want to get the feedback from the wholesale part of the industry that's going to be at that show, not necessarily by asking them the question, but really by their reaction. <laughs> Here we are in Las Vegas at the Vision West show. This is a uh, optical trade show, wholesale, for the industry only. This is where all the brands come and display their wares, and um, retailers come and do their buying. Scope it out, take a look, walk around, and hopefully write paper and keep this industry moving. Hello, guys. How are you doing today? Hey, hey Sue Ivan and Sue. Ivan. Really good to nice see you. Nice to see you. Yeah. Right. Thanks for coming. We're excited to see uh, Ivan today. Ivan and Sue Samuels from iGallery down in the southeast and really get some feedback. He's one of our top dealers. He sells the brand very well and we always learn something every time we speak with him. We're excited to see what you have that's new for, well, you made it out. for this year. All Thank right. you. Thank you. Wait, where did this come from? This is new, right? You've seen our sales, our women's sales, and they're strong. Opportunity to segment out women's a little bit more. What do you think? I think it'll work. Yeah, no, I think it's great. We have a really big women's presence at the beach yeah. for this. And um, 
And I think if we move it into a separate case that's white, I think it will be really good. You know, yeah. we keep our premier brands as close to the door as possible. Okay. We take people outside and show them how really good the, okay. the sunglasses are. You know, we tell them this is the best sunglass on the planet. There you go. So if we have a case like this, it'll fit near the door, and it. Uh, so there's room in your stores for. Uh, oh new no no, we, we have to be first. Yeah. We have to be the first <laughs> to get that. Ivan and Sue were were a great highlight today. They came off a bang-up summer with our product, and to have them see the display for the first time and react the way they did and immediately know that we're going to put this into their stores is, is really uplifting. It's really nice. I was a little apprehensive this morning. Just how's it going to look? How did it all come together? But a couple hours into it, initial reaction is very positive. And early feedback is a step in the right direction, and I think it looks great. These are a few of the colors that we're bringing out for holiday. Thank you. The focus is going to be on women's products. Uh, that's one of the things that we're really trying to introduce here is not just the female products that we've got strength with, but you'll see the, the displays that are going to be on the floor here that we painted white. We're really just trying to move into more of a segmented strategy for women sure. and really trying to provide women with women's products. Josh from Zappos is a really a, a wonderful person to speak with about how to take our message to a wider audience as they do so well with their company. Our target demographic is is that woman customer shopper that uh, you know spends a lot of time and shopping online for the family. But absolutely, we constantly try to tell the story of brands as well as lifestyles of the brand. All so right. You guys, let me know what you want to see out there, and we can put it up on the site to better educate our customer about what Canaan's going for. I like to kind of encourage you guys to give me anything and everything. Be ready for the content. And. Yeah. And we'll take it and we'll do as much as we possibly can with it. And it can never hurt. That's great. We just keep it coming and we're all just, sky's the limit. That's it. You're the best. Well, thank you guys. Thanks, Josh. Thanks, Josh. Appreciate it. I'm pleased with the segmentation story that we wanted to tell, targeting women more specifically. And the reaction to the white display seems to be pretty well received. So from that standpoint, yeah, I'm pleased. And uh, interesting first day. We have a lot of great ideas. Execution is another matter. And that's where I think Jay's advice has been fantastic. And I think he's so smart, he's experienced, he said some things in a way that provided the confidence for me to want to just spur the moment, just do it, let's act. And we have the capability just to act. We do have a great product. We have a great technology, something that's interesting and superior, but I think what we can do a better job of is tell that story to a wider audience. I hope that Steve and I can continue to lead our team and, and keep the message clear and simple. I couldn't feel better coming out of this experience and moving to the next steps. We have so many great things going on. Let's focus, let's execute, and let's tell our story in a, in a really positive, exciting, targeted manner.